Hey, do you think her husband followed us here? I don't think so. I don't see anybody watching us. Well, keep your eyes open. Here you are. Put it in there. <laughs> well, come on, speed it up, will you? We're in a hurry. Yeah, come on, hurry it up. We want to get out of here. <laughs> Boy, she counts fast. Is that all? Thank you. Let's go. Your phone is ringing. You better answer it. Something must have gone wrong. You sent them to the bank over an hour ago. They should have been here by now. Will you two relax? Suppose something went wrong? You suppose those guys got picked up at the bank? So what? We're in the clear. They can't prove we had anything to do with it. How do we know those guys didn't grab the dough and leave town? How do we know they're trustworthy? I told you, they're completely honest. Yeah, they're the worst kind. <laughs> How do you know you can trust them? Because I'm a judge of character. They got honest faces. Stupid, but honest. Well, I don't like it. If they ain't here in a half hour, we ought to blow. Oh, let's not get panicky. We don't even know if these guys are... Maybe that's our pigeons. You two better duck in the bedroom. Oh, it's you. Come in. Thank you. Uh, did you get the money? Uh, yeah, here you are. Mm -hmm. What a haul. Yeah. Uh, I beg your pardon? Oh, oh nothing. <laughs> a good work, boys. Oh, tell me, did you have any trouble getting the money at the bank? No, the teller handed it right over to us. She looked a bit surprised, but she didn't give us any trouble. Uh, can we uh, have our $200 now? Oh, of course. Here's a $1,000 bill. Do you have change? It, you, you picked a good kid, yeah. I have change. What are you doing? She asked for change. She didn't say how much. Haven't you got anything smaller, lady? Uh, well, I'll see. Boy, look at that Las Vegas lettuce. <laughs> Stack of hundreds. There you are. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I just don't know what I would have done without you boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, uh, you're welcome. Uh, uh, come on. Oh, one other thing. Yeah, what? I want you to go to the steamship office and get me three tickets on the first boat to Brazil. I don't want to go to Brazil. <laughs> She's not talking about you. Uh, we'll be we'll be glad to do it, lady. And one other thing. What do you want now? I think you better get the tickets in your name, so my husband won't be able to trace me. Now bring the tickets here tomorrow morning. All right, we'll we'll see you in the morning. Uh, come on, Earl. <laughs> Fifty grand in here. Man, how I like to finger this stuff. Hands off. I'll split it later. Hey, what's the idea of giving those guys a grand for tickets to Brazil? We ain't going to Brazil. We're going to Hawaii. I know it, Chowderhead. I just did it to implicate them further. When the police pick them up with three tickets on them to South America, how do you think it's going to look? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. Did you get our tickets to Hawaii, Hal? Yeah, three on 8 o'clock tonight. We'll be in Hawaii in the morning with 50 grand. Come on, Will. Hi, Mom. Oh. How's Denny? Hmm? Oh, well, he didn't eat much, but he's sleeping now. Where have you two been? I've held up dinner for you. Well, we got a little extra money this afternoon, so we went out to the track. And we lost every race. Whoever told you you could pick horses? It's not my fault. I got every one of those horses right from the horse's mouth. Next time, talk to the jockey. <laughs> Amy, we had quite an experience today. Hey, we were in a... Uh, uh, hey, what? Earl. What? You know that bank we were in this afternoon? Yeah? Got held up. No, let me see that. <laughs> Must have happened after we left. Hey, it was held up by two guys. Does it give a description of the two crooks? Yeah, listen. Bank teller said that one of the bandits was tall and dark with a low-slung jaw, and the other was middle-aged, fat, and beady-eyed, and wearing a trench coat. <laughs> What are you looking at? 
tall and dark, middle-aged, fat, and beady-eyed, and a French coat. Uh, listen to this. Teller says the bandits approached her cage and handed her a sealed envelope. When she opened it, it read, this is a hold-up. Put all your money into this port... Sealed envelope. Old, fat, and beady-eyed. That's middle-aged. And you should talk, you low-slung joy, you. Oh, Earl, we're in trouble. Do you realize that it was us that held that bank up? Oh, oh no, no. Tell me you didn't. We didn't. But Steve says you did. Yeah, yeah but we, we did, but we didn't. We did. Well, will you make up your mind? Did you did it or didn't you did it? Maybe we did it, but we didn't know we were didn't it. Gee, that girl sure pulled the wool over our eyes. Well, I guess I'll just have to call the police. No, 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 you can't do that. They've already been identified. The police will never believe us. Besides, you can't prove that that dame got us into it. Now, wait a minute. Maybe we can prove it. we still got those three tickets she made us buy to Brazil. Oh, that ought to do... No. We took them out in our own name. Oh, that's right. And she only did that to further identify us with the job. What are we going to do? Well... I don't know about you, senor, but I'm on my way to South America. Well, that's nice, you senor. Oh, wait a minute, amigo. I'll get my sombrero and go with you. No, no, no. If you're innocent, you've got to stay here and prove it. Oh, yeah, Mom's right. We can't run out. We've got to go to that woman's apartment, drag her to the police, and make her confess. Let's go get her. All right. Amy, burn this. I ever get mixed up with this rat pack? I knew it. She's scared. We got to find her. Well, how can we find her now? She's liable to be any place. What are you looking for? My glasses. You see them here any place? There we go. Hey, this might be a clue. What is it? It's an airplane envelope. Plane leaving for Hawaii at 8 p.m. She's on her way to Hawaii. What time is it? <laughs> 7.15. Flight 16 from Boston, Pittsburgh, Chicago, and Kansas City has now arrived. Passengers will disembark at gate 6. Check the bags through. Sure you don't want to check that one, too? No, I'll carry this one with me. We can board the plane in five minutes. Good. Let's go over and have it. Flight 16 from Boston, Pittsburgh, What's the matter? The two stooges. Hey, there she is. Hey, who are those two guys with her? Must be her children. Large for the rage, aren't they? Let's go get her. They've seen us. They're headed this way. I'll take care of them. Oh, not here, you fool. If they don't find the money on us, they can't prove a thing. You two just hold them off. Look, look, she's putting the money in that suitcase. You take care of those two guys, and I'll get the money, huh? Uh, just go. I don't think I like this arrangement. So be chicken. Now go on, hold on. And don't let go. Don't let go. Don't worry. I got a good grip on his hands from my throat. No, you don't. That's my bag. Well, I'll, I'll get it myself. No, you don't. Hey, hey. That's my bag. Watch it. Hey, Give me that bag. <laughs> Check it through. It's my bag. Come on. Give it here. Oh, oh, oh. Get the bag. What? The bag. Get it. Where is it? On the thing. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. Hang on with me. Hey, come back here. This one's really overweight. <laughs> hey, Sam, why don't we start flying livestock? Don't be a wise guy. Where's that overnight bag came down here just a minute ago? Oh, there it is. Hey, hey take your hands off that. Take it. <laughs> Where's that bag that just came down to shoot? Huh? There he is. Oh, not that one. That little one. Here it is. Oh, good work, girl. Wait a what do you think you're doing? I'm you taking wanna... this bag back. You want your bag away with it? Here's a baggage check. Yeah. The honeymoon is scrappy, little yeah. one, isn't she? Honeymoon. Let's get upstairs, get the other two, and get to the police station. All right, come on. Come on. Let's go. Hey. 